a lot of emotion. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the International Nine Ball Open. Thank you. The International Nine Ball Open is a Pat Fleming production, and it originates from the Simonis Aramith Arena at the Sheraton Norfolk Waterside Hotel. 27 countries have been represented here this week. 112 of the world's greatest players assembled to take the inaugural crown and $40,000. 109 of them are bye-bye. There's three players left. We're gonna play the semifinal now. The winner of this match will come back at 7 p.m. Eastern tonight to play Ko Ping Chung for the championship. Before I introduce our two competitors one more time, I'm gonna thank our three major sponsors, Simonis, Aramith, and Diamond, for all their support of this event, as well as for Pro Pool around the world. And we're gonna say once more on behalf of Pat, the AccuStats team, and all of our great champions, how much we appreciate what each and every one of you have done to bring this game as to where it is today and to support all these great players. So thank you all very much for what you've done for our great game. All right, our first player just knocked off the South Dakota kid and he's ready for more, representing the United States of America and he did so three times on Team USA's Moscone Cup. He's sponsored by Miucci. Would you kindly welcome Skylar Woodward? And from Chinese Taipei, a world eight ball champion among his long list of accomplishments, sponsored by Predator. Please welcome Chang Yung Lin. <laughs> All right, everybody, here we go. The referee presiding over this match from the USA is Ricky Bryant, and I'm now gonna send it upstairs to the booth to Mark Wilson and to five time Hall of Famer and our favorite, we love him, Danny D. Liberto. Take it away, Mark. Cool fans and friends, welcome to the International Open Nine Ball Semifinal. The steady JL Chang and young Skywalker, Skylar Woodward. The atmosphere is electric. And Danny Diliberto next to me, Mark Wilson, and I'm certain we're in store for another epic clash, Danny. We sure are. I mean, Skylar is burning up the place. He's playing great. You know, he didn't play so good in the last Moscone Cup, but he's overcoming it. And I'm sure he'll be back on the team. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, a much improved Skylar Woodward from a year ago. Eight matches he's won thus far. In his eight matches, he's lost a total of 29 racks. And look at the names he beat. Oh, absolute. The uh, who's who of world-class billiards. He's really had the break working for him, and then he's uh, capitalized. It's not been multi-inning games. He's been putting together many, many runs of two and three and four racks. He ran six yesterday. J.L. Chang won the leg. He'll be breaking race to 11, opting to go to the right side of the break box, his preferred side. The wing ball in like a bullet. The one ball fell in. Here comes the two. Yeah, he's going to be starting with a good layout. Looks like he may have to open up with a bank. No, I think he can cut this. He might bank it. It's better control, but what? I think he can cut it in. Yeah, he'd much prefer to cut it in. He's looking at the cut right now, so you are correct. I'm only correct if he does it. <laughs> Great player. Is he going to try to collide heavy into the seven here? No, he's missing the seven, I think. But 
You didn't mention the pipe. I didn't know it was that thin, but in either way, he did control the cue ball by utilizing a secondary object ball. mentioned it before, this guy has the focus of a Himalayan monk. Every shot, the same procedures. A very, very hard worker. Yeah, he doesn't like it. It's that little funny angle. Nine balls kind of bothersome if he goes forward. And if he sticks, he'll be behind the eight. Looks like he's drawing back out of there. Good shot. Did not overdo it. In an effort to get perfect, he was willing to accept either angle here on this shot. And what dictated that was how the object ball entered the pocket. Well, if he shoots it in the right-hand corner, He's going to have to have a little reverse on the ball, a little left-hand English, to stiffen it, straighten it out. Going to draw, draw it one rail across, it looks like. Good shot. Oh, he let up on it. And he Okay, he got below it. I think he was trying to get all the way below it then. Well, I think we're going to see him bank the six. If he shoots, could still play safe. But I think he's going to shoot the bank. Got to stiffen it a little bit. Yeah, he's playing safe. I guess he's going to put it down end table and try to introduce the seven in between the six and cue ball. Oh, no, he just tried to use the blocker balls down here on the end, and that's not going to be successful. Very thin hit. Skylar playing safe. Look at that. Settles up on the nine. Yeah, you, know, you got him. Got yeah. him with the nine. I think. Well, if he goes level Q, we know he didn't. But if he elevates, we know he did. He did not get him. He's all leveled out here to shoot at the six. In between draw, perfect speed. Chang takes nothing for granted. One zero is our score. Well, in the match he lost to Cole, Besides Cole playing super, I think he was a little inaggressive. I think he played a safe here and there where he could have shot. But how can you doubt this guy's thinking? <laughs> yeah, and he was 6'5 in front, and Cole just shut him down. He, he broke and ran out the last two racks of the match, and then uh, two racks right before that, he played safety from the break so well that he got ball in hand both, ball in hand both times and ran out. So that was four of the games that he lost. He really didn't get much say in them. But that's the only way to get past J.L. Chang. Yes. 
you have to shut him down completely and just dominate the play. If you gunfight with him rack for rack, you, there's no way to come out. That's what Skyler's deployed is the fast break offense all week. The break is working. The two balls checking up near the cue ball. He's making the one on the side. That's provided him a lot of scoring opportunities. And, and I like his attitude. He's very happy. You know, he's happy. I'm sure he wants to go higher here, but, I mean, if he lost right now, he still wouldn't have to be embarrassed. Like you said, he won eight matches against the best players in the universe. Two ball and the eight ball found the corner pocket. The one ball is getting chipped close. Okay, now that, that landed awkwardly. Right, I don't think he could shoot it. The scratch is there. Well, I think he can go rail first and play it in the corner if he wants to try to go top spin down. Yeah. That's being very creative. The reason he may be forced to do that is that it's not going to be an easy push out. And no safe either. This be a pretty shot if he does. He looks like he's wanting to go ball first. I think he'll hit the point if he no, does that. Rail first, I guess. No, ball first, hit the point, yeah. Well, Good how come ball. I saw it and he didn't? Now, when you hit one that thin, that the object ball only travels a foot while the cue ball travels eight feet, that's a really good hit. We call that the naked safety. Who's we? I never called it that. <laughs> the pro players, modern pro players, I mean. This guy was looking at taking on the seven. Making it. Oh, look at that ball. It's halfway in the pocket. I mean, on the, you know, that's a little bad roll. That didn't go in. He hit it pretty good. Now, Chang's a little straight on the three, so that four or the seven ball hanging down there makes the four play much easier. Doesn't even matter if he makes them both. He'll have position. See it? Asking for the cue ball to be clean. And yeah. Yeah, it wasn't, didn't hurt him at all. In fact, it, if the four ball gets buried deep into the pocket, playing position out of that pocket is much harder than making this five ball. The other day when the referee was cleaning the ball, we had an incident where after placing it back, he tried to tidy up the cloth and knock the ball away. Right, I remember. <laughs> Danny says you cannot get ball in hand when the referee fouls. You're right. <laughs> I'm sure he was quite embarrassed. Plus, it was a very thin cut that he had to just replace it as near as where he thought it was. And Chang wants to get certain about this ball. Top spin. He didn't want to hit it, but he's okay. Just got to do a little more work. 
very stoic, but he does show a little bit of emotion there that he felt like he should have been able to negotiate that. Back to backspin. And yet again, the power of the break. He made a couple balls on the break, played a good safety. The exchange went his way, and now he's off and running two games to zero. Danny, weren't the speeches good last night at the Hall of Fame induction ceremony? They were That's... great. They were great. I was very impressed. Um, it was a great dinner. I don't know if I'm getting older or and, and more emotional or what, but I just thought they were so compelling. It was almost tear-evoking because you right. know both of them. You're right. You know, One was... of them I did cry at, uh, Lori John Jones, when she got inducted, she sang a song. It made me cry. <laughs> and hers. she sang the national anthem last night very well. Yes, she did. Gerda Hofstadter Gregerson and Kim Davenport were inducted, and both of them had tremendous speeches. And then right. you know them. I think we've known them all our lives, so I guess that's part of it. But it was really good, really well done. I like when they don't read off something. I like when it comes just right out of their mouth and their brain. Three balls down, compliant break, the one and the two. Great start here. Gerda's friend, Eva Mattia Lawrence, was beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, charming. And the best looking couple on the midway, the Pennas, were there. Yeah, they class up any event. They sure do. Well, now this is going to be a little bit tricky. It looks like he has the right angle to approach the five, but the five doesn't clearly go past the seven, eight. And the side pocket past the six is probably the most available. He might have he might have the five in the corner past the eight, but from our vantage point, it's not uh, clearly indicative that it goes. Yeah, I, I'm not sure it goes myself. Maybe if you're close to the five, it has a good chance, but at a distance with little room, tough shot. I don't know what kind of angle he has. He doesn't have any, maybe. Looks like he has a little bit. Stunned it down, going for the oh, side he pocket. Oh, got to the side. Good enough. Yeah, good decision and good execution. Part of the pocket.
such a simple and compact swing, you see very, very little elbow movement. Generally keeps his head extra still. Even after he hits the ball, he's still there. 1,001, 1,002. Drags it into the position zone there. This will be his first break and run out of the match. And a three-game lead, 3-0. There's your uh, tutor. Jerry Bryseth. Yeah. My mentor. Just sat down. Great instructor, and he just had a little back surgery that worked very well. Well, Mark, it's the final day. I always get a little bit sad when it's the final day of a tournament. Yeah, it's melancholy because you don't you're know right. when you're going to see everybody again. If you ever do. Right, if you ever do. Chain breaking. Score. I feel breaks. like the pool players are my family. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you, mo you know most everybody here, and we've grown old with most everybody here. You mean I grew old? No. Four ball on the wing. The two ball found the pocket. The one didn't, but the Nick. six did. Okay. Oh, the three is in the way of the one. Well, not for the other pocket. <laughs> right. Right, he's got it. not a comfortable shot to play position from to back cut it just a little bit cue ball's going to drift downward double checks his line It's the heart of the pocket. Smoked it in there. Nice stroke. Got a lot of spin on the cue ball. No problems the rest of this rack. Woodward hasn't had a chance to play really yet. No, not at all. Been quite a while since he even visited the table. Good speed. Speed control is a function of a repeating swing. J.L. Chang has the great repeating swing, so hence his ball speed is very good. Kibble is going to drift to his right just a little bit. If it's enough angle, he'll go to the end rail and up, but I don't think so. I think he can just hold it. Now he's double-checking that. Doesn't want to shoot with an in-between or unfocused mind where he's kind of split-minded. Yeah, I think he's going to hit the end rail. No, he's not. He's one of those players that whatever he decides, you know, is the right way. Yeah. And 
and second consecutive break and run out. Our score is now 4-0. Completely dominating the play here early goings. Well, besides wanting to win the tournament, he'd like to have another shot as yeah. his countryman in the finals. Imagine that. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure he would. It would be an all Taipei finals. It is rumored that he's the top dog in Chinese Taipei, so much so that all the other great players will not uh, challenge him and play for money. Match is moving along with a brisk pace here. Chang has just dominated. Has not been very many innings thus far. And he's making the one inside, which he didn't do in the other match with uh, KO. Uh, the two ball went in as well, and the three is right next to the cue ball. Hard to tell if that's a cut shot. Look at that photography, but I yeah. don't know if it goes past. It might. Then hit, lose the cue ball a little bit. Look. Yeah, if, if if he can cut it in, the cue ball will be traveling towards the four, but controlling it would be quite a task. Now he's looking at a way to play safe because he wants to protect his lead and not take risky shots that produce unforced errors. You might just rub this three on top of the eight and go over behind the five. He's so close. Can he do that without going in the pocket? Maybe not. Now he's measuring the side pocket. He's going to use his extension right here. This is probably the right time to, to do so this rack. And now he's going safe the other way, going down table with the cue ball and just bump into the eight with the three. Man, what a shot that was. He had to create an angle, warp it around the seven, and then just feather in behind the nine. Three's out in the middle of space. Skyler's looking at the jump shot possibility. Well, a jump shot here, you know, would be just to hit the ball. I don't think it goes past the five. But you got to hit it. Good shot. And he left it. Yep. Looks Three like he goes by the balls the long way. I don't know if he can go forward enough to get on the four and the side. I'm sure he'd rather avoid playing the four nine combination. Might not have a choice. Right. If he doesn't have a choice, then he'll try to work the cue ball closer and get it on angle. must be playing it for the side because he's not spending any time looking at the angle he'd like on that combination. Unless the four goes completely. Oh, my. Oh, he hit that terribly. He butchered it, and that was that was really the first quick backswing and transition he was trying to power up. Look, and, he got lucky so far. Yeah. What happened there? He changed his mind mid-stroke, and you could see it was very uncharacteristic. His timing was off. Everything was off. He missed the ball by a yard. But he didn't sell out. Tyler Skyler has to kick this ball. Trying to kick in behind the three ball and kick it past the eight. 
stick the cue ball there behind the five. I don't think he'll use much speed on this. It'll be all spin. Try to arc it in there. Look at that. Just the way you called it, Mark. My goodness. Really good hit. Well, that's, that's what Skyler's been doing all week, executing shots of that nature. The audience recognizes how difficult that circumstance was. Rewards him with some applause. Plus, everybody wants to see Skyler make a deep impact in this match. I know the audience loved Cole winning. Well, he jumped, hit the ball. Controlled the cue ball he remarkably well. Yeah, he settled on the end rail. Skyler has a cut at the ball, but it's nine feet away. Yeah. This is, this is <clears throat> reminiscent of the uh, first cut that he had. It's just it's a tough shot to have to take on. But you're because, not getting... You know, position isn't automatic if he makes it. You're just not getting that many offensive opportunities. It's hard to just come up to the table and have to play safe, yet you hate to come to the table and always face something of this difficulty. Same thing. I, I like kicking it again because of the difficulty of the ball and pocketing and position. Well, well, I don't know if he's got a pocket on the three. Might go by the seven. I think it does. I don't know. It's hard to tell from here, but he's, I guess he thinks it does for sure because he seems very comfortable with it. Yeah, it answered that. And the four and the five are right there together. Really, just a perfect stop shot would be just about ideal because that would give the angle that would lead to the six real handy. Good enough. Yeah, he has his choice. He can play for side or corner, whatever feels the most comfortable. If he goes forward, it'll probably be well, it could be either one. Well, he's going to go forward. I don't know if he can get to the side. I know now. Got to hit some rails. He might have to go three rails. How about two rails? This is what we've witnessed from Chang all week long. Very, very consistent play. back for the side. Man, look at speed. It's all JL Chang. 5-0 is our score. Yeah. Woodward has not had a chance. How old is Woodward? I know you know that one. Well, I do know this. I'm <laughs> sure you All do. Right. I do know this. I think he's 26. 
but he might be 25. I'm not sure when his birthday is, but is the exact same age as the Moscone Cup. Our referee, Ricky Martin. Ricky Bryant. Oh, Ricky know. Bryant? <laughs> you Where confuse did I get me. Martin? I don't I'm know. talking about the singer? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I should have just said Ricky. Rack number six. Chain breaking. All right, six Five ball is his wing ball this time. Chang has broke from the same spot throughout the week. Every time I've looked, except for one time he checked the rack, switched sides, and made the other wing ball. Uh, wing ball in. One ball down. The break's compliant. Does he have some kind of a shot? Not much. I noticed after I said Ricky Martin, you said it's Ricky Bryant, and I covered it up with the singer Ricky Martin. Mm -hmm. There is no singer Ricky Martin. No. <laughs> I'm sure there is somewhere, but I we, invented it. it's not a famous guy anyway. Look at this. He switches extensions here. He had one on there. Now he got a different one. He's going to try to freeze him on the pour. Oh, he didn't. I think he left the shot. Not an easy one, but I think, um, I think Skyler has a shot. At least the bank. Heading for his jump cue. Yeah, you know, if he could jump it and make the one and stick, he'll have the two. Pretty bad angle. It's gonna be tough for the pocket to hold it if he hits the pocket. Oh, he did the bank part. Yeah, it's not going good for him. We're playing the one in the upper left-hand corner, and the concern is where the two ball goes or how we get position. Looks like he's skewing downward. Yeah, he's going to hit the two. <laughs> he wasn't really hoping to make the two, but he did. He's got a long shot, but position to position on the three. Make it, you got the next ball. Yeah, he's queuing up as if to say, if I roll this, I might scratch. So I'm going to try to avoid the scratch. And using backspin then complicates the accuracy of the hit. No, well, I think if he cuts the three in, in the corner pocket, he's going to hit the end rail. But he looks like he's going to draw the ball. Which he did. He got straight in the corner pocket. But he's on the rail. He's going to leave a bit of a cut on the seven if he makes the ball.
No, now it looks different from here. He's going to have a decent cut if he makes the ball. Yeah, that was a good shot. No problems. That was effective top spin, so he could expand the margin of error on the pocket by going soft, yet get a lot of travel. Now he'll go one rail, shoot the eight and nine in the same pocket. And JL Chang is more than halfway to the finish line here, leading 6 0. Not to be alarmed, many matches start off like this because these guys are good, so you don't get that many innings. Scatter has devastated his opponents with the same type of barrage all week long. And he truly hasn't had a chance to play here. Scatter's break has been working so well all week long. I was excited to see it uh, operate here in this match. Well, he's got to get to the yeah, break. We haven't had a chance. <laughs> Every year we say this, but I've never seen the standard so high. Seems like every year they raise the bar. More yeah. events of this quality would help to produce that as well. It'd be very inspiring for everybody. Rack number seven, chain breaking. What a great tournament. Six Can't say enough good things about it. Well, you're right about what you said because Coe's come to all the tournaments and he never finished this high. Now he's in the finals of a big one. One in the side. I think he's got a shot at the two. Hmm. He would have to roll it softly to get to the three. Now that's the four down there. And, uh, oh, the four, yeah. I don't know if he's, uh, uh, he looks a little disappointed. Yeah, he's elevated half mass A, he's measuring. Yeah, he doesn't like that, so he doesn't have a straight in shot. No, we're going to have to see a safe cut bank. I don't know, he was considering trying to bend around the seven. Extension. Cut to two and bank it towards the eight. Yeah, I and think the goal distance. I think that's what he's going to settle on. The only reason he would even consider bending it is that it does come with a pretty good reward if he succeeds because the four is right down there by it. And he's leveled off, so now we know he's playing safe. Oh, he kicked at it. Wow, what a shot that was. Yet again, Skyler comes to the table facing... Nothing. <laughs> well, we'll call it nothing. Well, most unfriendly circumstance, that's for sure. Got to try to make something happen. He looks like he might be considering skipping the seven ball and trying to cut the seven in, or the two in. Guess he can go level Q right at the two. He could hit it heavy. That's the that's the price you pay for. You right. just never get a shot. It's like 
it's like the accumulation of many games going by. You do, do not get many turns at the table, and then you try to force something to happen, and then the score and then all that. And he sold out. Yeah, compromises and kind of snowballs and gang, you know, gangs up on you. Constantly have to come to the table with absolutely zero momentum and rhythm on your side. I guess the six passes to nine. Just we're going to assume so because he didn't spend any time looking at it, so he's quite comfortable with where it's at. And he's got the angle on the six to get close to the seven. Want to get straight in on the seven. The eight is right there. It's pulling up to control. Yeah, just roll the head and go to the end rail and bounce back up to get an angle. Yeah, he's got the two rail angle. some little fuzz off the table. All right, nothing that Skywalker could do. <laughs> Skywalker, seven, zero. Let's take a look. Do we have the stats? We don't. And yes, we do. 940. 940. I don't remember him making any errors. Oh, well, there it is. 63 balls pocketed to zero. That tells the whole story right there. Skyler yet to get on the scoreboard here TPA-wise just because he has not pocketed any balls. Here we go, Chang, focusing his aim. He never lets an inning escape with just a general approach. And he figured out how to make the one. Oh, look at this. <laughs> Looking to just roll the two ball in. Boy, perfection. Yep. Now he's got all the momentum, all the confidence going. 
And he'll have eight nothing lead. Yeah, he's clearly recovered from his last loss where he really did very little wrong. Gopin Chung just dominated that performance from it was six four or no five three I think it was and then it was all Gopin Chung thereafter. girl from Betty mm -hmm. who's pulling for Carl probably because he's her size <laughs> yeah he's ferocious competitor though really in iron nerves ice in his veins Chang's eighth win comes by virtue of a break and run out. Players are playing great, but you need great equipment to play at this level, and that's what we have. One piece slate, so it levels up really nice. Great cloth, great balls, great lighting. Rack number nine, chain breaking. The score is eight racks to zero. The three ball is your wing ball that he's been making pretty regularly. The one on the side, cue ball gets chipped around. Yeah, he couldn't do that with Cole. You know, his break was terrible with Cole. He must have learned something. Oh, non-compliant break. Okay. I'm so used to oh. him tagging him that hard. Yeah. This guy was not looking at a bank. He's laughing. He's, <laughs> he's, this is like one of the better shots he's had of the few. Even the time that uh, Chang really made a fairly crude effort at a stroke, missed by a mile, he left Skyler safe. Well, it's not a great angle to get to the three. No. Boy, it's tough to play safe from here when you're losing eight nothing. Right. I think that's what he's thinking about doing now. Sure. Don't blame him. That's wisdom doing that. Now we're going to see a jump. He's going for his jump cue. guys have become very adept with the jump cue and even though he's got to launch this ball quite a ways they're good at settling it back down on the cloth so he doesn't bound the two ball off the table or the cue ball oh he missed one is he going to leave a shot <laughs> similar <laughs> the banks maybe I don't know it, it's, it's too thin looks awkward as could be 
<laughs> keeps going, yeah. Skyler. How much fun is it to have to come and play safe <laughs> awkwardly every time you approach the table? That's what he has, though. Just thin the two. No, bank it across. Okay, better yet. Introduce the four and nine in the way. Here comes the jump cue. Well, here I wouldn't use the jump cue. I, I just kick it. You're going to hit it kicking just like you're going to do jumping. Well, I think he's trying to play a shot from here. What like shot? A, Tell me. A uh, defensive shot. Oh. Well, it goes on and on for Skyler. Yeah. He can hit it for sure. I don't think he wants to cut at it if he does have a cut. But if he does, I think you got to go for it. Well, he's leveling off. I think he can bank it out of there with a stop shot and just try to tuck the cue ball away, but he's not really cueing low, so no, he, he could cut, cut at it. it. Yeah. That was the same difficulty level all three of his offensive shots have been. Yeah, he needs an easy layout to get started. Chang is surveying the cut shot on the two. Once again, going to apply maximum effort. Well, if he happens to make it, position will be with it. Oh, he missed the ball. Hey, Skyler's going to get a shot. Hey, go get him. <laughs> All right. <laughs> the people realize that he hasn't had a chance. That's great. This guy is laughing. <laughs> He's saying something like, I haven't got the shoes all match. And the, and the people know that, too. I like that. Oh, yeah. He's a relaxed kid. Oh, he got a thin cut on the three. I don't think it goes in any other pocket except the side. And it's a very thin hit. I thought he was looking down the corner. Nope, playing safe. Oh, gosh. Not a good one either. Hmm. He sold out. Yeah. He had to power up a little bit to get around the six, and then that cost him position. Right now, the ball count is about 70 balls for Chang and one for Skyler. Hey, there's a miss. And a say. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, but you still got to be glad he missed. Yeah, of course. Of course, right? He hasn't missed many. <laughs> Tell you what, Chang kind of popped up on that one, too. He didn't like it either. Right. He's been human his last few matches. The, uh, the toll that a hard week like this takes on you, and fatigue definitely enters in. Yeah, but they're young men. They shouldn't get tired. Yeah. 
Chang's trying to determine how he's going to get at this three. The Massey around the eight, try to go rail first to hit it that way. Over by the side pocket, that's what he's looking at doing. It's an easy hit. And he looked to see if the three passes the uh, four with the kick. Oh, hey. okay. All right. <laughs> Go get him. Go get him, Tyler. <laughs> Yeah, it would be fun to see Skyler rattle off three or four games here. Well, he ran Make six himself. yesterday. He'd like to do that right now. Make himself known here. I think he's in danger of winning one here. There's a little dab of momentum. The people are going to howl. All right. <laughs> Again. All right, Woodward, you only need a touchdown now. This guy's going to take a timeout. <laughs> All right, everybody, Skyler Woodward back from a short break, ready to barrage the table here with some balls on the break. Rack 10, Skyler breaking. One. The two balls been traveling three cushions around near the side pocket, and he's been scoring the one ball. He did it There's again. the one. Here comes the two ball. If it doesn't get kissed, he made in. it. He made it. Uh, he doesn't have much of a shot on the three. Made the one and two. Yeah, that two ball's been tracking to the side pocket just repeatedly for Skyler. That's enabled quite a few break and run outs when it travels three cushions like that. Extension. Push out. Skyler's so got to try to figure out where to push out to. I 
he's pushed to a kick. Couldn't do anything other than that. Yeah, it's most unpleasant. You make two balls on the break. You're trailing eight to one. Well, it goes in the far corner, kicking it, and he'll have position. Now uh, he's he's going to hit it. Out. Yeah, it worked out. He <laughs> brought the two and the four all the way down the table. Left a tough shot for Chang to do anything but play safe from. Shank's going to bank this two cushions down by the five. Maybe behind the five would be better, but control the cue ball underneath the four. Oh, he got into it a little thinner than he wanted. And finally, <laughs> Skyler gets a, another open look at the three ball. Hey, it might not be too late. You know, whatever way Chan got ahead, eight to one might switch, and you'll beat him eight to one. Anyway, that's the way to think. Very good shot. No kidding. That wasn't easily done. Very good shot. It's like, you know, the people know what they're watching. And he's showing that he can play for sure. Well, that could have been a little better. He can hit the ball. He's going to have to play safe. Might go behind the eight. Back to his playing cue. He's just going to thin it, like Danny said. Three cushions to the eight. Behind the eight. Hit it good. Two cushions. Don't slow down. No. Nope. Right path. This is an interesting shot here. Because you don't have much that you can do. It's easy to double kiss this ball. Oh, there's no bank for sure. Gonna cut it thin and try to go behind the eight himself. No, he didn't want to go that far, but he sold out. Yes, guy earned a chance here. Go get him, Woodward. I'm not pulling for anybody. I just like to see good play. Don't like to see it go one way like this. Without anybody playing super. He's going to just hold the cue ball there. Oh, he overdid it. 50-yard line. Was he trying to go on the other side, I guess? He I didn't hit it hard enough if he was. Tough to reach, oh, boy. too. Cue ball's going flying around. He's got to hit the paint. He did. Which he did. 
All right, rack number two. Chris Tyler Woodward. <laughs> He's got to feel some sense of relief here as he starts to get on the scoreboard and get some time at the table without having to face near impossible situations every time he approaches. And when he wins one, the crowd really applauds, and they're not all his relatives. Yeah, Skyler's a very likable guy. Big shout out to everybody in the viewing room. Thanks for tuning in. We're glad to have you alongside. Isn't it amazing all the technology we have today? We can live stream this right here in house, closed circuit. Yeah, I, I think about that with television. I mean, what happened with television? Did somebody wake up one day and say, I'm going to invent television? How did that come about? Uh, yeah. Changing uh, radio waves into light. How do you do that? I suppose, you know, it started with cameras and then evolved. All right, here we go. Keep your eye on the two ball, tracking three cushions for the side pocket. The one on the side, here comes the two. And Give him a shot. Yeah, no. He's got a shot in the side. He can go one rail to the three. One rail? That cue ball's going to be hot as could be if he cuts out of the side. I don't think so. I don't think it's that hot. Well, I always add yeah. a couple more rails. Yeah, yeah. You know, he's going to at least go into some. It's going to come off. Maybe he can clatter into the four and the nine, but to back cut that ball into the side, you cue ball would have to be going pretty well, fast. The good thing about it is the three has six pockets it goes in. Just don't miss. Oh, great shot. Good call there, Danny. Yeah, he, he was, played it to hit the four. He was able to control the cue ball. He needed the four or needed an object ball to slow him down. I don't think he's done yet, Mark. I'm not pulling. I want to see good play. That was a good idea there. He tried to develop the seven ball a little closer to the pocket. Only winged it. Well, the way he's been playing, I don't think there's any problem here. I know you know what I'm saying. Yeah. He didn't yeah. get way behind because he played bad. Good shot. Uh, great time for a retaliatory break and run out here. This would be his third win. He feels like he's in the match now. You can see he's got a little more pep in his step, a little more momentum. And it looks like he can play to the public, you know. The viewers out in the world, they didn't see any of the other matches. He won. He's showing that he knows how to play. 
That's the big thing. You know, you got to have an ego and pride to compete. You just got to keep making that ball on the side and running out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he needs to do what brought him here, and that was all those break and run outs in the other matches where he had such a decisive advantage just smothering opponents, and he can, he can turn that on right now. Goes to his favorite side. One win again. Here comes the two. Got chipped a couple times. No, he doesn't have a shot. Yeah. Had that slipped past that, he might have had a great opportunity in the side. Now the four and the nine are pretty close together. He's made three, six, two balls. Hmm. It's hard to play safe from here, and it's also... you. <laughs> You're in that predicament where you can't really push out. Not even much you can tie up. Well, I would push out and let Chang invent something to do. He doesn't have to. He's not. He's way behind. He's going to play the two seven. To uh, I avoid. don't like that. I don't like that. No guarantee you're going to get a shot on the two if you make the seven. If you make the seven. Well, mm. I don't think he sold out. Yeah. Yeah, he didn't like it because the stroke reflected it. He got super quick backswing and transition, and then he flinched his body at it, so his body revealed that he didn't like it. It's okay to take it on, but you have to have that level of commitment where you just stand still as a statue and deliver, take your medicine. It gives you so much of a greater increase of success rate. And people out there, listen to what Mark's saying. He knows the racket. Extension. Chang trying to put the two ball down table and bring the cue ball underneath the eight. Very tough to do. Yeah. Especially the, you're going towards the nine. You're liable to leave in combination. Well, the thickness of this hit, like in snooker, it'd be a foul for sure. Yeah. I think the two goes, it goes in the side for sure. I don't know if it goes by the nine. Yeah, I think he can cut it thin. And Chang kind of looked up like, oh, geez, I left that. He wanted to get at least clear of the side. I like the way Skyler went and looked at it. Very thin hit. Could even make it off to buy the four accidentally. And not quite. I think he snuckered him, though. Might be able to hit an edge, but I don't think he can make it. Mm -mm. He's got a kick at this. He might have a play at the nine off the two, if he so desires. If he could hit the two. Doesn't oh. look much like he can. Oh, no, he can hit the two easily. Easily? Uh, I would like to bet that he hits it. If he goes high left... And the twos, if he hits it, I think he's going to also land against the nine. I don't know that he's going to make it because he's got to get back off the rail. I think it myself. Mm, good effort. Yeah, he, he snookered him. Does he have a rail first? Mm, 
Maybe Let's not. Let's see. My angle here. <laughs> if he does, it's not real first to make the ball. He might be able to slip in there and hit the side of the ball. Oh, I think he can. Yeah, looks like it. Just can't make it. Well, hit it anyway. Hey, he sold out. He left to cut in position. Inside spin. Oh, <laughs> removed the seven. What a heady shot that was. It took the seven away from the nine. That opened everything up and provided the angle to get on that. Really yeah. good shot. No more problems here. Well, the two's deep. Ah, but it's not deep like always. He can cut it and go. You were right. No problem. Chain got a little straight here. I don't know if he can no, pop he, it or he, not. He's got the proper angle. Yeah, he's got enough of an angle. It's not exactly straight. Now, this is not an easy shot. It's a thin no, it's hit, not. and you got to go up and back, so he's going to have to power up a little bit. Just below center, bring it down right over the spot, and back up to the center of the table would be great. hit that was. Just like you called. What a hit that was. Yeah, everybody recognizes that he made a great effort at that one. Now I think he'll come behind the side pocket on the same side of the table as the eight. Only because if he stays on this side there's such a wide area there that makes it really hard to get close to the nine. He's staying on his, his end of the table. No problem. Okay. Well, he definitely want to, does not want to get flat, which he didn't. Uh-oh. This could cause something here. Popped up, too. Well, if Skyler could win a couple more games, Chang has got to worry. Oh, yeah. All right, A4. 
Yeah, this this match is not over with, Mark. Yeah, I was a little surprised he didn't come behind the side pocket just for that very reason, the extra length, and then if he get, and he even had the right angle there. But yeah, but he's not supposed to miss that. I understand. I understand he's not Except, supposed to. He did though. Yeah. Big match. He just got slaughtered by his countrymen. Might not be feeling so good. Well, he seemed to forget it for the first eight racks of this match. Rack 13 about to begin. <laughs> Scatter. He's been effective from the break all tournament long. Oh, he just missed it. There's the two ball going over there, though. I don't know if it's compliant, is it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, he made a couple balls. He made two. They made three. Well, he's going to get a chance to bank, which is... I don't know about that. I think you got to feel like winning and play safe. Because banking is going the wrong way for the three. That's the idea right there. Good uh, you're shot. You're right, yeah. Good shot. You know, he feels like he's got a chance, that's for sure. Yeah, you don't want to shoot an off-angle bank. Try to hold it for the next ball. Chang's going to bend this in around the seven with draw. Solid impact, but he's going to leave a shot here. Yeah. Oh, he is, and it's not bad. Woodward can get close to the three. The angle's there. Just make the ball. Watch out. Oh, he got snookered. Got snookered. Mm -hmm. They just got to make something happen now, Sky. There you go. That's making something happen. <laughs> yeah, it sure is. Oh, no, you, you don't want to do that. He's going to. Oh, well. Took a chance to jump it. Well, I'm telling you, Chang must be 
feeling now like things are going wrong, and uh, he can lose. I mean, he was winning eight nothing. Skyler runs out here. It's only a three game difference with with Skyler breaking. Glides the seven ball in, routine nine ball now. This would be his fifth win. He got a match. Yeah. I think it was eight zero, right, for Chang, and it then was. five in a row now for Skyler Woodward. That's what I said. When you're playing a match like this, you got to think. Whatever made this guy get eight ahead could go the other way, and I could win eight in a row. Extreme positive thinking. And he's got to be feeling good. He beat some of the best players in the world yeah. to get here. Well, he's within striking range for sure. So he's dangerous, and I'm sure Chang would wish things... Uh, Hadn't gotten tightened up because you start to feel pressure. Say Skyler breaks and runs out here, then now you're starting to feel like all the look, momentum has shifted. Does he look worried? No, he looks like he's concentrating for no, his next I inning. No, I think he looks worried. Oh, okay. In any event. Doesn't matter he what he looks. He knows he's in a match, yeah. Rack 14, Skyler breaking. Make the one on the side and run out. I'm sure he'll get worried more. He made the one. Where's the two? Oh, tracking up <laughs> right where it always goes, right? He's going to have a shot. There you go. All right. Here we, it's, it's really interesting to see how things have turned around here. Skyler is trailing, but feels like all the momentum is with him. And Chang can do nothing about it, so now he kind of knows what Skyler went through early in the match. Mark, I've been doing this 60 years, and I've seen it do this stuff. Oh, never a doubt. Okay, does he have the angle to go two rails around towards the seven? That's yeah. what he's looking at. The seven's a pretty big ball. Yeah, you know, that's his target. Now he's gonna have to hit this pretty if he's going two cushions at that target, you gotta hit it pretty hard. Yeah. If it keeps rolling, he'll have it. Yeah, he got there. He I got think straight. He did. He's going to get a long shot on the six. Yeah. Oh, he got straight, but he could stop right there. Six is not impossible. He can go forward, it looks like. So if this will Maybe. be two cushions around Maybe. then. He did. Good shot. Yeah, that was a very productive shot because now he can get to the right angle from the seven to get to the eight easily rather than have to wrestle with it. Just across the center of the table now. 
He's pocketing very well. Oh, that was good. Now he can go into the eight. I don't know. Some of these guys rather just play the long eight and know what they have rather than go into it and maybe get off angle. But it's up by the side pocket so much. Wouldn't fault him if he went after the eight. Looks I like, think he's going to. Yeah, it looks like it. Oh, what a nice shot. Uh -huh. What a nice shot. Yeah, Kyler, Kyler is feeling good right now. Yeah, great time for another break and run out. 8 6 is our score. <laughs> And the thing about this is Chang can't be feeling real good. He lost the match earlier, and he really has played bad lately in this match. So he can't be feeling real good. Skyler is within two games and breaking. The energy in the room is definitely picked up. <laughs> People are moving their hands back and forth like it's electric. Track 15, Skyler breaking. Eight, six racks to eight. Same left side of the brick box. One's he in the side. Here comes the two over by the cue ball. Same way. Might have a nine. Uh, <laughs> he might have the nine. Wow. I mean, he's got the nine. I mean, imagine this match. <laughs> Exciting. Yeah. Yeah, but cheering for him to make this shot just to make it Oh, he's going to make it. Look at it. <laughs> it lined up straight. Oh, I, I bet he makes this. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> One game behind. <laughs> Crowd loves it. <laughs> Amazing stuff. <laughs> Jerry Bryce is smiling and clapping. Ra Hannah, he's smiling. <laughs> the whole crowd is loosened up now. <laughs> Look at the rack. Look at that. <laughs> A most unusual occurrence. Eight right. for one guy and seven for the other. There it Along goes the again. Side. Here comes the two. It might go in, too. That's actually bad luck, I, I know. Think. You don't want it to go in. Well, got to play it safe. No, you can't Oh, no, I think you can cut this in. Oh, I wouldn't do it. Oh, you wouldn't? No, nope. you can go behind the six pretty easily. Oh, he's going to shoot. He's winding up to shoot. He's feeling real good. You're not likely to get much of a better scoring opportunity if you play safe, unless you get ball in hand. Yeah. 
perfect. Look at this. <laughs> we're going to... Oh, where are you going? Going to need a little bounce here. Very little, but he's okay. I think he can go two rails and out. Well, he's holding his face. Skyler, you went this far. You're in the game. I think he can go forward two rails. Oh, she had to go rail first. Yeah, I would. I don't think he had to go rail first, but uh, Chang doesn't mind. Mm -mm. Chang's gonna take a little break. <laughs> we get a player timeout. <laughs> He's smiling, <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty intense. Yeah, I don't think he had to do that rail first. All right. Okay, everybody, we're back. Mm, Chang, darn sure wants to cash this one in. So here we go. Good shot there. Yeah, there's nothing sitting bad here. So it looked like a one side of the fair has turned into compelling viewing. Guess he's just going to stay on that side, or is he going to try to flatten and come around? I wouldn't think he would try to come around. Oh, no, you don't want to take a chance getting snookered here. Take the shot on the seven. He's a veteran, you know. He, he's not going to fall dead. Perfect. Nice shot. Good, good choice. That's what it was. Seven. Both players can see the finish line. Chang is seemingly happy with the rack. He's going to go to his favorite place. Chang breaking. Nine racks to seven. Six ball and the cue ball. ball. Wow. All right. That happens pretty often. Just because the cue ball retains so much more energy on the cut break. 
upright. Oh, you got to hit it a little harder. It's a makeable shot, but tough to control. Could have got a little puller. And now he's a mile away on the cushion. Mm. Tough spot to be in. Yeah. Well, that was the result of not getting the right position on the ball and hand right. shot. Right. Well, I'll tell you, I wouldn't shoot this. I wouldn't shoot this. Bank it to the end rail. Cue ball go all the way down where it is now. That's what he should be doing. Oh, that's the worst thing. Yeah. Hmm. Chang is going to get on the hill now, and it's going to be real tough. I guess he tried to do too much of it because he hit quite a bit of the four ball when he went by there. Oh, he got a little bit too thin. Yeah, he did. <laughs> He's got to hit the end rail. <laughs> he also does. I have ball in hand, and I'm going to do this. Yeah, he's got to hit the end rail. Go mm -hmm. one rail. Can't roll it in. It's going to draw two cushions, looks like. One cushion. Oh, okay. Indicated like it was much thinner than that. That was back in line. Boy, the crowd is awful fickle. No, they just want to see good play. Why, this is right where you can get too straight going all that uh, way. I thought he would hold it in the middle of the table. He's pretty straight. Yeah. But even straight, you draw the ball. Then you're close, so it's not too bad. Yeah, it's a good look right there. You can see just how straight it is. He'll draw one rail. Going to get perfect. What, he wants to clean the cue ball? Yes. Ricky Bryant out there with his tool. Hits the heart of the pocket. Ten now to chain.
more than just a cursory glance like he's been giving it in the past. The previous match that we saw him do this, he went to the other side of the table and made the wing ball promptly. He's going to the other side of the table for the second time throughout the event that I've noticed. That means he feels like the sixth ball has a much better chance from over here. Well, if you watch Skyler, this is where he was having success. Yeah, the sixth ball went right in. Look at this. Here we go. All right, Sky. Nice open layout here. Second break in a row that he scratched. Well, Skyler's capable of hitting him with a four pack. He's viewing how he's going to get on the four from the three. Well, as long as the four passes the eight, he'll be okay. Because the three is pretty full hit. It's not a thin cut. Yeah, he's playing on playing the four in the corner past the eight. Well, he's pretty far away. But he has the right angle to fall on the five if he makes the ball. Good shot. Routine nine ball now. This would be Skyler's eighth win. <laughs> this makes it a lot more fun, that's for sure. Oh, it's very <laughs> exciting, too. Get Skyler's break working here. I think earlier, I think the, let's see, the three matches before Shane Van Boning lost out, all went Hill Hill. I know he got out on uh, Arcolo Hill Hill, prior to that Melling Hill Hill. Lost to uh, Kopenchung Hill Hill. Ball's been tracking for the side pocket. Rimmed the pocket, oh, got went kissed in. in. <laughs> Didn't go straight in, but went in. Look, he's got a shot and position. 
This match is going to get real exciting if it gets to Hill Hill. Oh, he came with the sleep in the street shot. But he jumped up a bit. I don't know what Chang can do from here. It looks like the seven balls has got the two covered. Oh, it does. He's going to kick, of course. I don't see anything good happening for Chang here. No, unless if he, he hits it, I no. don't think it's going to get safe. Just to, well, it's just going to be random. He could also kick it in randomly. about if he doesn't hit it at all? Yep. All right, Skyler coming out of here. Two cushions, it looks like. He's drawing back. Two cushions. Pretty good. He's got an angle on the three to get closer to the four. Which he did. He's got an angle now, I believe, to go one rail. It's pretty full. He's going to have to power this or draw it back. Maybe he doesn't have an angle. I think he does. Well, I don't think he came back far enough, but, well, tricky position. Because of the nine... He's home. Good shot. Now he's got one railer to the eight. Or the two railer. He preferred. <laughs> Ten nine's going to be our score. We're going to hear some applause for this. <laughs> There we go. Well, we wouldn't expect much less, given the way the play has gone all week here on center court.
Rack 20, Skylar breaking, nine racks to 10. Okay. Penultimate break. One ball's in the side. Here comes the two tracking around towards the side. Drops in. Ah, that's a bad roll. I don't even mm. know if he can hit the three. Is he going to try to kick and stick behind the seven? That might be the shot. You got to do it. You got to hit his pull. He cut it. Mm. Oh, he sold out. Disappointing there. He cut it. He didn't his... hit his pull enough. Trying to loosen himself up, bridging over the nine. Four ball on the opposite end of the table. Oh, I don't, he's hesitating. That's a form of dogging it. Well, he was right on his extension anyway, so might as well go ahead. If you're going to burn it up here, you don't have to be in a hurry. A great stroke. Yeah, yeah, that max power of the ball was hopping when it entered the pocket just to get the cue ball to travel across the table one rail. This is not a gimme. Yeah, big shot here. Like you said, this is not a gimme. Not at all. Ten. Ten seconds to get this shot off. Shot clock. Uh, the extension's already burned up. Mm, gliding shot. that in there perfect with pretty good going, speed. Where ball? Pretty good speed. Yeah, he seems a little nervous there. He knows that was a huge shot. A little smile. Yeah, no more problems.
perfect. Keeps the cue ball out off the cushions. Yeah, he's going to go one rail this time. Maybe not. Yeah, it's over. ball yeah. well, we definitely got our money's worth here <laughs> Skyler Woodward uh, put up a very courageous fight after falling behind 8-0 losing 11-9 well I imagine that uh, Chang gets well, to play his countrymen in the finals. Right. Be. Kopin Chung versus J.L. Chang. All right, Danny. Well, that was another great rendition of AccuStats. We'll be back in about an hour with the finals. And that's our time for this time. Until next time, so long. Introducing Lucasi Hybrid, a whole new level of performance and technology. A cue with the revolutionary X-Shock dampening system, eliminating vibration. G5 grip technology for enhanced traction and stability results in maximum cue control. Total sweet spot construction means unmatched power. And the zero flex point ferrule provides dead on accuracy, giving you the confidence you need in every shot. Lucasi Hybrid, the only cue that matters.